son of a bitch. I'll be back. Phew. Now I know it was been three tenths of a second for you guys, but it's been. I know last week I was out here Wednesday night. I believe it was Wednesday night. <clears throat> working out in this heat. Out in that shop. Oh my gosh. You know, it's 100 degrees in that shop. Sometimes we've been super, super busy. And uh, I didn't record anything, I don't think, um, that Wednesday. Uh, but I did get a little bit done. So you can see what we got here. Now, this is a mounting bracket, and uh, uh, it goes something like this, or actually like this. And this Cadillac has cornering lights right here, you know, so they go. They go right here and then right here and they line up with the headlamp bucket and the bumper and all this real cool. Well, of course, it's rotted out and somebody else has brazed a patch in right here. Now, that wasn't enough. They probably burnt through, so they brazed another patch. And, of course, underneath the Bondo from the inside out, it rusted right through there. Of course, it's rusted all in here, too. So... I started making me a little patch. Started with a uh, piece of construction paper type stuff just to start getting me a pattern going. And that's what we ended up with. So now this does line up pretty good. I put a screw in right there to hold it into place. Clamped it here. Clamped it back here scribed it and of course I started did my bend you know this this bend down here on my little metal brake is good for little parts like that I stuck this on here clamped a piece of steel behind here and just started rolling this over got her clamp back into place again and then rolled this on on into and I got one little slice right there because it is kind of a kind of a kind of a curvy situation now I was kind of worried I'd had it uh, scribed real good that's why I got to see this cheapy blue paint on here um, so I could see where to cut it real good but I think this is just a real gradual kind of a rounded thing I think for where it is um, I'm going to I'm going to cut all this out cut and, and cut it you know short of my line but up here I, I'm going to cut it right through here and I'm going to measure real good and I'm going to put a flange weld right in here just to give it some strength you know if it if it warps this or deforms it just a little bit that's okay you know we're going to have a lot of body work going on in here anyway but you know we're going to have butt welds from here all the way around to here We'll have a butt weld from here down through here, you know, so, and I could possibly do a flange right here if I wanted to. So, you know, I, 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 think, I think I might do that. And the reason I, I like doing that is it's stronger. It's just stronger. I can weld on the backside. I don't worry about burning through so bad. Um, of course, we have some spot welds here to take care of this inner bucket which is kind of hard for you to see there's a big hole right here so I've got it marked where I can cut it out I'm gonna cut this part of it out and this part will get replaced I'm gonna do my best to save this part and the reason is I have these bolt bosses these little screw bosses and you have this eyebrow eyebrow uh, trim that goes in here so it's real important to, to do my best to have those exactly where they're supposed to be and of course there's one missing here but that's not a big deal once I get these in here then I'll know where this one's gonna go so that's what I'm gonna do let me get this cut out it's uh, my day off I got my my long cut I got the AC going um, we're gonna get this cut out and get it in place and, and see what it looks like <clears throat> all right got her cut out I'm getting ready to run my flange and you're probably wondering what's this piece of steel on here for well I figured out that you can cut just as accurately as you can a half inch down from where you want your 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 panel to land well turns out 
this flange tool is just less than a half an inch. So, what I thought would be better to do, because I'm always trying different stuff and, and learning and all that good stuff, is is to put a gate, a, a, a you know a stop basically, so that that flange, right where this flange is, this little step right there, ends up being perfectly straight. Now, if it's if it's away from the panel just a tiny bit, that's okay because you're welding in there anyway. If it's too close, of course, then you got to shave the panel down and all that stuff to get it to fit. Maybe I'm just overdoing it, but I want this flange to be nice and straight, straight as I can make it. And then, you know, and of course, I can sand the, the my my replacement panel down just a little bit, you know, to fit this way or this way and all that good stuff. So. But I've got a butt weld, I'm going to butt weld here. I wanted to flange weld, it was just, um, you know, I had to cut this section out and then a little flange, screw it, just lop it off. Uh, we got this right here, it's cut, for our eyebrow to come back. <clears throat> you know, and once I get this flange in here, then I've got to decide what I'm going to do with this. Almost now would be the time to get rid of these spot welds right here, take out this whole panel and just make a new one you know I don't know it's got all these big holes in it there's you know there's a different panel that goes on top of this and then the headlight bucket bolts on the top of all of that it's kind of a nightmare I'm not I don't know I don't know if I should you know there's a lot of a lot of rot and stuff in here you know that it isn't it's all going to be hidden but I don't know we'll see I'll think about it all right all right Got a piece cut in. We got a flange weld right through here. Uh, got a little boogered up little place, but I think it's going to be fine. I might weld that up a little bit more and grind it off. I'm not too worried about finishing it off right now because I need to do something with this. The spot welds right here. Spot welds right along here. So I'm going to take this whole panel out, trace me out a new one, and make a new one. I think that's the plan. Then once I get that into place, then I can finish this out, finish this out, finish this out, you know. But, there we go. It's getting there. Got that panel in. Got that panel in. Right here. You know. So I spent a lot of time, spent a lot of time on an old fender. We're getting there. Let's get something else done. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna make this quick. The girlfriend's on her way over, and all you guys know, when the girlfriend or the wife's around, you, you can't do stuff like this. Anyhow, <clears throat> at least it's kind of hard to. Anyhow, got rid of my spot welds. Got this nasty old piece out. Laid it on top of a piece of sheet metal. You see, it marked out my holes. Uh, you know, I got a couple holes. There's one up here. And then, of course, I didn't mark out the holes that aren't supposed to be there. But, folded over my spot welds. I have my holes punched in. This is the bracket deal that goes down here and I'm not real sure I remember what it's for but I'm making it anyway um, there's a little you know these little lips are rolled over and it's just for strength really then here's the spot weld spot for for the fender where the fender goes on to now the headlight bucket is all rotted out you can see there's a piece an area missing here so if I can get that right there the thing is going to line up right where the old one did it'll spot weld right along just like that it'll that'll spot weld right there then inside here I have this lip kind of gone to go behind that then you see the little holes there for spot welds and so what I'm going to do is once I get the holes punched into the uh, into the panel uh, I'm going to 
you know, do my spot welds here, spot weld here, and then what I'm going to do is use tech screws and pull that together as I spot weld it and then seam weld it all the way up inside there real good. Um, that'll give this fender some strength and, uh, you know, then we'll fill in the gap. Of course, there'll be a little section here we have to fill in, but, you know, after doing them doors, that seems like a pretty easy proposition, but there's our, our panels welded in. You know, uh, it's almost going to pull the, the the bench drill press out, and uh, you know I'll use a bigger drill bit and kind of work my way around them holes, and then I'll use a a, a a sort of a grinder router thing and clean them up and get them get them pretty similar to the to the to the old piece. But hey, I'm pretty proud of myself. That's a that's a big difference, and it's really going to be. Well, it's going to definitely be nicer than it was, and it'll be, you know, it'll look like factory from, I don't know, the outside of the car. So, I'm uh, fixing to go in, I think. Uh, I don't know if we'll upload this video, or I'll wait till I get this panel welded in and get this stuff uh, all filled in and welded up. Uh, then we'll end the video, then we'll start doing some body work, hopefully. See you guys. Uh, yeah three tenths of a second alright so I took a little break 27 to the fit so I took vacation that stuff I wanted to do gave the car a break to loot all this we're looking at you know I'm pretty much at 25 hours uh, yeah 25 hours. I started at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, who knows when I'll be done? We're at 25 hours. We got a little bit of catching up to do. Uh, had our headlight bucket deal going on here. Let's see if I can. There we go. There's the old one rotted out somebody had brazed a brace between here and here uh, all kinds of good stuff and of course filled it up with bondo and there was just so I figured well I'm gonna cut this piece out make a new one and there it is and it's kinda hard to see because of the lighting we have all the same holes as this one all the same holes, all the same holes, where everything belongs. Here. I got her put it into place. Everything was good. Until I went to put my trim on. Now trim on both these fenders, and both these finger fenders are boogered up where somebody did. Now this is the other one I'm trying to go off of, which I can't because you know this is packed full of bondo and it has sheet metal braze underneath it I'm really sure you see this is nice constant thing and it's supposed to go down to a nice tip from looking at pictures I ain't got another fender to go by so this is what's been throwing me off I got my trim on there and found out that this fender isn't really supposed to be perfectly straight now in pictures it looks like it but if you look at it at the right angle you see it does come in towards the headlights just a little bit um, which caused me a couple problems of course the, you know the fender was sticking out way out here actually more like that not much then this eyebrow trim now the headlight goes right in here this eyebrow, eyebrow trim of course it was all stuck over here and, and stuck out this much too long and it was a nightmare it just it was just a nightmare so what I had to do, I had to recut here, had to cut a slice right in my fender, pretty much where I added it anyway. You know, I had a, I had a, a, a butt joint there anyway. Um, and then I used a ratchet strap around the whole thing and just pulled it together. Just kind of pulled it together just enough to where, it, it, you know, I could smash this down, this, this, this little area of the fender here, and, and get it kind of more to the point like it's supposed to be so my next issue is there's a and it's hard to see you see right here it's supposed to be a screw right there okay well of course this was all 
this is all uh, you know except for right here all this is brand new all this is brand new I gotta make a hole and what we're supposed to have <clears throat> inside there is these little clippy things slip right in here so I got some new ones for both fenders I got stainless steel hardware uh, I figured well at least the screws won't rust put it that way so but the, so I had to make a land that's going to go underneath that and just like these so to hold my new clip so I'll have to but, but the advantage to having some old junk sheet metal laying around is this piece off a of Dodge truck tailgate right there and it's just the right height I'm going to slide it underneath there I'm going to put the screw in and then I'm going to go inside with this trim on it and tack weld it to the in, to the inside of the headlight bucket so it's where it's supposed to be so I got to make sure that the trim lines up right here there's a little cutout where this is supposed to butt up against this fender trim and it's right where it needs to be so that leaves me you know I got a little bit of a little bit of work inside here to do of course I'm gonna have body work inside there this whole fender has been hit right in the nose the top of its boogered up oh my gosh this has been nothing but nothing but a nightmare of course I replaced all this you know so what I, what I plan on doing and I'll just show you maybe tell you what let me get it in there get it screwed in and then I'll show it to you all right there we go got my little handmade homemade boss laying in here so all I gotta do is is put me some tack welds around here okay now this is surely gonna be right where it needs to be for the rest of the rest of the trim it joins up with the fender trim just like it's supposed to ends up right here of course you see I just got a little bit of a space in there that you know it needs body work anyway I'm gonna get some dura glass and some and some filler in there you know and it's gonna it's just gonna be it's just gonna be what it is and just how it's gonna be and it all look just like this when I get it done so let me get that welded in there uh, and then I'll show you how it looks uh, we got a lot of a lot of work left to do on this fender all right <clears throat> I showed you guys this piece of trim that goes right through here and I was about to weld my my little boss on here that'll hold the clip just like there's a clip there and a clip there in the factory sorry about the the lighting I really don't give a shit about lighting but you can kinda see there's a clip right here the sheet metal screw goes through there and right here and right here so that turned out pretty nice it puts that piece of trim right where it needs to be um, compared to my fender opening trim and my cornering light now my cornering light I got a couple bolts bolt holes there and of course they're extra large so I have some slop I got the, the bracket that goes back here that'll get cleaned up and what I'll have to do uh, the the hit the the cornering light bucket is is like a pop metal and it's ate up all the shit on the outside and the little the little brackets that that uh hold it in are all eight out so I have to make some new brackets and then I'll probably use a uh, sort of a urethane epoxy <coughs> um, to mount them onto the onto the head but I'll worry about that later I've got my holes where they need to be and I'm concentrating on this fender to get it in bondo and it's, it's trying to you know flash rust here and there I'm, I'm needing to get this fender done uh, got my bracket done for my mounting holes and how I've got this set up is I'll have a shim against my inner my outer or my inner rocker panel I'll have a shim here and a shim here and that gives me a little bit of adjustment here and there and I've got it I've put it on the car three or four times um, and I've got it so it's it's lined up just right with that that outer rocker panel right here okay so that that way that they'll do two things they'll give me some adjustment plus I can have some airflow and some drainage out of here. We need that. Then I'll just drill drill holes into my inner rocker panel. Uh, the bracing on the inside, I'll use my big wallering bit. Let me show you that. I've done a lot, I've done a lot of stuff with that. This wallering bit's really a lot of uh, time saver. You know, you make some big holes really quick. 
but to put the nut in from the inside here there's a there's a bracket that I've got you know made inside here so what I'll do is I'll drill through uh, for my hole locations when I get the fender done I'll mark them and drill drill the holes for it and then I'll drill bigger holes on the back side sort of hole saw type of bigger holes and then I have rubber plugs that I can put in in the inside keep water extra water from getting in there and of course I have it it's open it's open right through here so if water gets in there it can come out now that catches you up on what I've done so far with the fender my next issue is this right here this is where the hood shuts okay there's a there's a real thin I mean this is about to blow through right through here and of course I have a hole right here and the deal is this is the support bracket that goes on the inside of the fender and it leaves an open channel all the way through here of course water it works its way inside there and it's the spot welds where that channel is welded on it's it's you know eight through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, and you see it spot welded to it right here. I'm going to cut a section out right through here, just on the edge of the top of this fender, and then right through here. Okay, and then we'll take this spot weld off and I'll make a new panel to put in there. But before I put a new piece in, while I've got it out, I've got a section in a piece here. This is where the inner fender bolts up against it, and it tends to hold water. A lot of hold holding water situations, but while I've got this apart, I can pour 15 down inside this inside this channel and, and we won't have to worry about any more rusting. Um, so let me get some more done. We'll at least get the metal work done on this, this fender and we'll get this video put up. Sorry this is a long video I can tell already. Just be patient with me we're about done. Alright everybody I know this video was long and I skipped over a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna, this, this fender turned out pretty decent of course you get everything in primer and, and I've kind of tested you know block sanding over stuff and it's going to level out uh, we'll end up repriming all of it once it all blocked out but uh, had some waviness going here on top of the fender where you know where people work on the car and and all that stuff so I straightened all that out spent a lot of time when I show you guys some of that getting my getting my eyebrow trim here to fit right along with this trim here this fender uh, I had it made so it was straight it's not supposed to be it's actually straight till right about halfway through then it comes in it just kind of rolls in just a little bit so I had to slice it here and you know slice it here and roll it back in and re-weld it it was a pain we got you know but here it is here it is. I redid a few things and you know messed up a few things. So you know, let's see. Now I've got a couple nights work that I didn't mark down, but I guarantee you I'm over 60 hours, and so it's not real important to be exact, you know. Um, but just to know this one fender from the original paint stripping, doing the metal work, doing the body work, doing all the prep work. We got a pour 15 all on the inside. It, it's all, it's all, it's all done. You know, I made made this piece by hand out of 18 gauge sheet metal. Uh, made that took a little bit of time. Turned out nice, but it had to be done. You know, uh, so we're at you know over 60 hours for this. So, so I guess, I guess my point I'm trying to make is anybody like you that might think about wanting to do something like this in your home garage and you know you buy a little chintzy welder and you buy a sucky ass uh, air compressor you're half scared of sometimes you know um, and you're gonna do this yourself and even if you've done just a little bit of body work uh, you know maybe if you've done a lot of it and you're a lot better than me hell you might have kind of got this done in 20 hours but you know uh, if you took this fender to anybody and had them to fix it and get it to this point, I guarantee you they charged twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars just for this fender. You know, there's no way I could charge somebody and be able to do it in a timely manner to where it's fair enough for both of us. You know, both of us involved. So, you know, that's why I do this for a hobby. Uh, I don't really don't want to do it for a living, but maybe someday, maybe I'll do a little bit someday. 
but I guarantee you nobody would want to pay what I'd need to charge for body panels like these. So the next step is going to be I, I've, I've got to get I've got my bracket here made. Of course, I've got a C clamp just holding the fender on the table. My my bracket here is made, but I don't have any holes here just yet. And you kind of see where they're marked out. So I've get to, got to get that fender on here. Get these holes drilled. Uh, I've got to go through and get my my hinge pin bushings replaced in both these doors. I've got a couple issues with with the doors, and I think this one out here is out in the front side and it's in on the inside and it's a little bit long back there where the where I didn't realize that the the rocker panel shoots up just a tiny little bit and of course the old door even though I made a pattern you know that that eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch through there you know that's how that's what happens so you know, I'll have to redo that I'll have to cut that down and weld the edge of it fix my body work and fix my my primer you know it's just kind of part of the whole deal so but then I'll get all these body panels lined up I'll get my little filler piece right down in there I've got it uh, soaking with rust mort and all I get it cleaned up and I got a little rust repair to do to it get it primed up get it in there get everything lined up on this side of the car and then uh, I'm just gonna leave the panels on here because it's the safest place for the panels to be um, having them stacked up in the living room and all that stuff I'm just scared they're going to get tore up but then I'll turn the car around they'll start it up drive it around drive it around out in the street turn around back in and start on this back door now I'm going to try to do them just a little bit different than I these because I, I learned a little bit of something on these and hopefully this side of the car will take half the time that this I did but hell who knows and once we get all that done get the trunk and the hood fixed we have stuff like this to take care of stuff like that to take care of in the trunk and the hood you know which it doesn't look like it's bad but it's gonna have to get all cut out and, and um, you know a little bit of metal work done here and there to them so rough in the body work once we get all that done uh, probably get the doghouse off the car pull the motor pull the transmission so I can uh, tear those down and basically I'm just going to reseal them reseal everything uh, you know clean up my frame rails clean up my my firewall put the brakes the disc brakes on on it new master cylinder booster I already have uh, do a little bit of suspension work um, tear down our core support and our inner fender wells get them uh, I'll probably I might even have them uh, sandblasted after I do the metal work that needs done to it or after I don't know and I might have a way to get them uh, powder coated, coated black you know so I might have all that done at once so I might do the metal work first take them to the same place they'll they'll sandblast them then powder coat them and they're going to be done I think I can get a good deal on that if I do it all at once like that um, but anyway long road ahead it, it really is this you know it's, it's finally coming together a little bit anyway I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to making shorter videos after this one this one was just to kind of see on a, on a timely manner how 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 long it takes a guy like me or maybe a guy like you to do something like this uh, anyway we'll get this video uploaded and I, I, I sure appreciate you guys patience please like and share uh, anytime you you feel like it it's a lot of fun for me to, to have people comment so go ahead and comment and if you think I'm full of shit that's totally okay too uh, you know good advice I'll take that like I'll, I'll you know I'll always take it what you would do maybe you know I don't know I'm sure ready to drive my old car again so hopefully you'll have color on it by the end of this fall and then this winter I can spend you know buying my parts and pieces speaking of parts and pieces check these out got these on eBay these are the outer the outer headlight bezels now mine are pretty pretty pitted these are pop metal pitted really bad one of them had been hit when the car had been crashed and so the ring didn't fit on there really good um, and then on one of them this right here is just crushed and you know when I was trying to take it apart the bolt was so rusted that everything twisted and it just come off you know so I found these on eBay 
they're real hard to come by and these are in such good shape of course nobody remakes them or reproduces them but you know even with cars like this you can keep an eye out and you can come across stuff I gave fifty dollars for both of these heck of a deal huh I thought it was something you can't find alright anyhow it's a Sunday just got my grass cut I'm trying to catch up on stuff around the house I'm going to come out and finish this video up for you guys and get it uploaded uh, We'll see you again on the next one. Thanks, everybody.